Today I've made this giant number storage for my redstone graphing calculator. So this is pretty big right? It's about 200 blocks long, 60 blocks tall and 20 blocks in width and it can store up to 505 numbers. We call that a ROM, which stands for read-only memory, and this one is really cool because it's capable of outputting 5 numbers per second through the output column right there. Now, let's talk about how the numbers are encoded inside of the ROM. I assure you, it's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I just... Okay, so, there's a branch of redstone that we call logical redstone. That basically interprets redstone being on as a 1 and redstone being off as a 0. And so, we use that property to build binary strings of data, or basically a bunch of 1s and zeros together, like, I don't know, 10011, or even 00111, or really whichever combination you may like, and whichever length you may like. <laughs> the point is, it is data, and it can mean something and hold information. So, we know that a string of zeros and 1s is data. What could be data? Numbers. And so, 1s and zeros together can be considered a binary number, which is an ordinary everyday life number, but written in base 2, which we call, well, binary. For a little example, this would be 4, this would be 5, and this whole thing would be 69. Nice. This is a very complex topic to wrap up in a few minutes, so I'm linking in desk a tutorial from my good friend Mabawings, which covers how to read binary all in Minecraft. But don't ya worry. You won't need to have the skill to understand the rest of the video. Just know that a string of 1s and zeros can be read as a number, and it's already pretty cool because now we can store stuff with redstone. That's cool, that's seriously cool! In this ROM, all the numbers are in binary columns like so, since it is one of the easiest ways to store numbers with redstone. But now that we can store numbers, which numbers are actually stored into it? In my graphing calculator, for a reason I'll talk about in the full video about it, I'm gonna need every number from minus 50 to 50 to the power of 1 to 5. For example, we could have 5 to the 3rd power or minus 47 to the 4th power. In the ROM, I organized it like this. Each slice is all the numbers from minus 50 to 50 to a certain power. This left slice here is power 1, this next slice is power 2, all the way to power 5 on the rightmost slice. And so, that's why there are exactly 505 numbers stored in that ROM. Minus 50 to 50 is 101 numbers, and then we need to raise each of these numbers to 5 distinct powers, namely 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, onto the accessing of these numbers. We want to store them, but we still need a way to actually read, pull them out, and use them somehow. Well, that's what this bottom panel is for. We choose with a binary number which power we want to raise our outputs by, which is the equivalent of choosing which slice we want to read from. So here, I'm gonna choose 2, to have all the numbers coming out be the squares of all the numbers from minus 50 to 50, since we raise them to the power of 2. We only have to hit that read button up there to pull the numbers out of the slice. And by the way, you can also hit the subscribe button if it hasn't been done yet. Please. Please. Don't let me come closer. Nope, don't let me. <laughs> <laughs> this button is going to send every number from minus 50 to 50 in order to the chosen power with two redstone ticks of delay between each one, or like two tenths of a second. By the way, I'm using carpet mod, which I linked in desk to freeze time so that I can show you better. So yeah, here we're gonna see that our first output is minus 50 squared. And then, two redstone ticks later, we can see that it is minus 49 squared, and this all the way up to 50. So let me take and freeze. So we're gonna see each two tenths of a second, we have a new number. So let's accelerate time real quick. Tick rate 200. Boop. <laughs> so we got all the numbers. You <laughs> just gotta trust me on this one, that all the numbers are right. And finally, how did I put all the numbers in this ROM in the first place? I know it's cool to have a storage, but it would be even better if it actually had stuff in it. So, no, I didn't put all 505 numbers by hand. I actually used a Python script I made right there. So, it's a tiny boy, but... Very cool. What it does is that it computes for each slice the 101 numbers we need, then convert them to binary and finally represents them in Minecraft with target blocks representing a 1 and barrier blocks representing a 0. So yeah, <laughs> zeros are kind of invisible but you can still tell that there is a number here because of the target blocks down there. 
In my ROM, target blocks let the redstone dust power go through, whereas burial blocks don't. Target blocks then effectively represents a 1 and burial blocks a 0. Only in my setup though, because redstone dust is placed in a certain way. So here, I isolated the slice of all the numbers from minus 50 to 50 to the third power. In the middle here, we can see that there is 0 to the third power right there. And here you can see 5 to the third power, which is 125. It's all ordered, 50 being all the way over there and minus 50 being all the way on the other side. Then what we do is that we put that slice into the ROM slice with some welded magic. So let me select one, let me select two over there. Okay, so now we have selected the slice and then we can actually copy the slice. So slash slash copy and then we can put it in the slice with slash slash paste uh, right here. So we stand there slash slash paste dash a bam and that's it all slice has been successfully coded to all the numbers from minus 50 to 50 to the third power we only have to do that with the four other slices and yeah our rom is done huge thanks to phil z for the help on this giant rom his links are in the description check him out really cool by the way for any questions you may have about the rom uh yeah ask it in the comment i'll answer them <laughs> anyway i thought that was pretty cool so i wanted to show you <laughs> see ya